بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Thank you all for uh, coming here for the 47th talk uh, under the Leading Perspective talk series. Um, this is a talk series that Lead Pakistan has been uh, organizing for uh, more than two years now. And uh, under this talk series, we talk about how we manage our shared river base. And today we are uh, lucky to have Mr. Mohammed Abid with us. Uh, who is uh, an expert engineer and who has been uh, tasked by the Prime Minister to work for the reforms of water and agriculture in our country. So uh, thank you so much, sir, uh, for coming here. And I thank all of the participants who have uh, spared time to, uh, to come here. Uh, we'll be joined by some people uh, over the webinar. So uh, they'll be listening uh, to us. Uh, through through electronic mediums. Uh, before I request um, Dr. Abid to enlighten us with his presentation, I'd just like a quick round of introduction around this table. Uh, who are our audience today? Sir, Sir my name is Mohammad Okiranja and I am working as assistant engineer, small dams organization. Dr. My qualification is MS Engineering Management from LIPA International. <coughs> My name is Sitra and I did my master's in environmental sciences from last university and I am doing internship at the National Ozone Unit, Ministry of Climate Change. Okay. I'm Mega Padvajas and I am a leader in the National Ozone Unit and also I'm doing MS from Institute of Space Institute of Space and Technology. ان کا ایک طرف غور کرا دوں ایز مچ ایز پاسبل تو اردو بول دیجیے گا تاکہ ہمارے جو ہے نا گراؤس روٹ والے لوگ وہ سمجھ سکے میرا نام محمود ناصر ہے میں لیڈ کو اور بھائی کا فیلو تھینک یو سر میں عمران اشرف ڈیولپمنٹ ایڈوائزر ٹیکنگ کیئر آف کلائمیٹ چینج واٹر مینجمنٹ انفراسٹرکچر پروجیکٹس تھینک یو سر یو کائنڈ آف مائی میس شاہد اور میں واپس کے لیے کام کرتا ہوں as a project director, surface water hydrology. Thank you so much. Thank you all for coming here today. And sir, uh, as a little request, if you can make a mix of, uh, you know, English and Urdu, our audience ke liye ek, uh, si, uh, clarity. Ho so, uh, and I think we're joined by five people over the webinar. So the mode of uh, this talk is that uh, we open the floor for presentation uh, for about an hour. And the last hour of this talk would be uh, open for discussion and for question. Is that right, sir? Thank you so much, sir. Uh, you can sit if you want to. Uh, okay. uh, pointer over there. Uh, whatever is more comfortable. Okay, I'll uh, start uh, just by standing, then I can sit. And <laughs> okay. Uh, is this pointer working? And yes, I, I just have it. It's working. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Muhammad Abid, that is uh, uh, my name. I'm currently working with the Prime Minister Reforms Team at the PM Secretariat Islamabad. Uh, before this, I was working with the World Bank, and uh, uh, previously I've been uh, working with Aga Khan Foundation as well. There was as my uh, head of the engineering and infrastructure and looking up the area of Gilgit, Skardu, and Chitral regions. I've worked for many years over there. In previous would I have been working in the irrigation department as an executive engineer. So I have an experience of both the donors and the government sectors and a little bit of the private sector as well. Recently, uh, I was working with the World Bank. I was asked by the uh, World Bank uh, who were working with the different governments, provincial governments, Punjab, AJK, Sindh, and the Pakistan. There we had a very big uh, project of uh, 200 million dollars plus project in Pakistan, it was not taking off. So I was asked by the bank and the government uh, literally that I should go there and work for the government and uh, head the water resources sector, <coughs> which is my basic sector. Uh, regarding my education, in overall I have done more than eight degrees and I have written uh, three books as well. Uh, my uh, the professional experience counts more than 32 to 33 years. I did my engineering in 86. 
so uh, and i have worked in five countries as well and i have worked in across pakistan and i have worked in more than 125 districts of pakistan so each and inch of the northern areas gilgit baltistan chitral i have been there landed by helicopters went on horses apart from the vehicles so different perspectives of water i have come to know today uh, before this i was specially asked to because when i was uh, here to join many uh, presentation i was asked to specially uh, given idea presentation on the balochistan side or the other matter that her bulla comes she might be coming again uh, she asked me especially that uh, nobody talks on balochistan so bit to roka that should talk on balochistan on any project because the actual learning is through a project the uh, theoretical frameworks can be given a lot that they are more on the academic side but the real sense comes to the project so that's why i especially uh, made my presentation regarding a project uh, but the duty is not here but still i hope that, like okay uh, but i hope that uh, you will be much benefited from this project that what is was about why it was given the people of rajasthan it's a huge project more than 30 billions of rupees and it has many components and many sub components so we can see one by one project name is the rajasthan integrated water resource management and development project so here we have uh, when the project uh, was initiated it was seen that the rajasthan is an area which is composed of the land which is mixed of mountains hills deserts plain area so and all area is divided into river basins the river basins of rajasthan comprises of 18 river basins so the funding by the world bank was given to the two river basins nadi and prali river basins so you will see that uh, this nadi river basin you will see that in the map as well in the next coming slide that it is the largest river basin in uh, rajasthan because uh, we have been starting in the series of the lead that the managing shared basins actually it is the river basins which is shared by the community by the people who get benefit of water either through agriculture or through the drinking for the livestock for the wildlife and for the environmental so i'll just start from here that uh, there are two basins which are selected nadi and prali river basins but because it is an integrated project of integrated water resource management so six departments there you can see irrigation he was the lead agriculture and cooperative department rajasthan forest wildlife public health engineering livestock and environmental protection six departments collaborated with the uh, the with the world bank and the government pnd was the overall arching body to see the project and the and the components which were finally decided a b c g components the a was institutions capacity information there was institutional the strength there then water infrastructure and management investment this investment is for the infrastructure projects all for the water resources and for the water supplies so see better project management and technical assistance because there are multiple studies which has to be go through Uh, this process so that all part is given at the scene the total cost to, uh, was 209.7 million us dollar which ida which is the agency of the world bank they gave 200 government of rajasthan 2.5 million dollars and the beneficiaries were also to contribute about 7.2 million dollars it is it is the same model which is the aga khan is doing in the northern areas because the contribution by the community by the people is necessary because they have to given a integrated approach and later they should have the ownership of the project it uh, is a 6 year project so why the project was taken basically we set an objective it was a uh, it took time to decide the object it is just for three lines but it took almost a year that why this line should be selected to strengthen provincial government capacity for water resource monitoring management and to improve community based water management for targeted irrigation schemes in rajasthan 
because if we our objective is weak we cannot work what we have dreamed of so and the because one there was the provincial government six departments and on the other side the government both have to be strengthened simultaneously through all the procedures capacity trainings and multiple other things which are inculcated into the project so that the community beneficiaries are part of the project from the day one and you can see a name as psia consultants this project support implementation assistant consultants the consultants were hired these are the name of the jvs ac cameos and kasim cameos and kasim are basically local firms of rajasthan but both have their offices in islamabad as well in nathalaman and ac is uh, known to every much especially engineers the second largest engineering consulting company in pakistan first being the nespark the services which were to render detailed design review detailed design assistance to project management unit in procurement of projects assistance to pmu in fitting documents assistance to pmu in overall project management and implementation and the construction supervision these were the basic services which were they were to render for the pmu regarding the different type of projects as described earlier to the components a b c so this was the project management structure which was finally decided that how it should be if the main interaction for the world bank was given to the planning and development department of the government of rajasthan then there was a project steering committee it is headed by the additional chief secretary development of rajasthan <coughs> who is the head of the pmd also and these are the departments forestry wildlife livestock irrigation which is the lead department the project director belongs to the department of irrigation department of agriculture public health and environmental there is a department lead and this is the staff of the pmu the government staff is over here and they were specialists also which were over there all type of specialists were over there and they were for the nari river basin and for the prali river basin two pius project implementation units were also established one in sipi and the prali was established in daspela so this here were the project uh, psia consultants which i uh, briefed the last slide and the other another company for the monitoring and evaluation because when we have a bigger project the pd is responsible for giving all the briefs and details of the project because there are so many things uh, when we especially cross 100 million dollars i have seen in because i have been dealing for more than 1000 million dollars of projects and we have seen whenever it cross 100 million dollars any agency is there they are in perplexed and they cannot fulfill the requirements according to the national and international standards so multiple firms have been so the project ka gestation date kab se kab tak hai 6 years 2017 to 2022 it was in the second slide second second year mein chal raha hai but they have started just now they, yes, they started, started two years back it is still yeah. running at a slow pace i will come okay we'll take the questions at the end So this is the location. This is the Nari River Basin, and this is the Prali River Basin. This is the Rajasthan province, covering 44 percent area of Pakistan, and this is the largest river basin in Rajasthan, Nari River Basin. There it is, Sipi, which is the headquarter of this basin, also the Dhulna Water as well. And this is the Nari River going through this basin and going into the sea and joining the you can see over here and this is the prali river and going cross and going directly into the arabian sea now slightly more a detail you can see now we can see different districts of this rajasthan area and nari river basin comprises 69369 square kilometers of area it is and you can see that it is the biggest uh, basin and have many districts and the upper part of this uh, river basin comprises of snow fall as well and this area is almost desert but it's green as well and this is the prali 
and uh, here is the Las Vela, uh, which is the very close to Rachi as well, not very far away, one and a half hour drive. And this is also all area is not properly fertile because the water comes in a sheet flows and rushes into the nalas and towards the big streams and into ultimately into the sea. And now you can see the sub basins of Nari Basin. Here you can see the demarcation provided by the uh, through GS mapping. We have divided into all these six multiple sub basins in the Nari River Basin. And this, this is the main light blue color is the main uh, Nari River going into after Uzbekistan going into the Sindh is a lake known as. Amal Lake, also known as Zero Lake. British call them as a Zero Lake. It's a very good hunting place as well. I have been there many times, but it's a big lake and it's a rich in more to join the river. This is the Nari River Basin. We can see the six sub basins also. Uh, sir, this uh, basin is recharged from Indus or how, from, no, where? from the rainfall? From the rainfall. From the rainfall. No proper river, all are uh, perennial and non perennial flows. And then we have another close view of the Purali River Basin. Its area is less. It is hardly 20, 18 to 20,000 square kilometer, but it has more sub basins. You can see there are small sub basins. Every sub basin has its own origin of water. And ultimately goes into the bigger, the light blue river. They can go and join this new main river and then if a pani to Anna was not the matter. Now the actual project. The project was divided as uh, described earlier, was into three components: A institutional strengthening, capacity, information, water infrastructure management, and project management, technical assistance. You can see at the part A, you can see the institutional strengthening and restructuring. It was basically to strengthen the department, main of the irrigation department and agriculture, PhD, public health department and other departments also, wildlife, through revitalizing their uh, and finding their weaknesses in the common structure. Because uh, I was also there, part of this, uh, working for the World Bank, it was extreme and extreme difficult to work with them. They are highly ethnic people and don't accept uh, the person, especially from Punjab, neither from Zen, neither Urdu speaking, even they don't accept the Pakhtun people coming from KP, though they are themselves Pakhtun speaking people. But many I don't want to go into much detail, many fights over there that they are not willing to run the project, they are willing to have something else from the project. That's why it is still hampering and that I will discuss at the end. That why it could not lift off. Then the, another very, sorry. You can see that was the A1 part of the first component. The second part is of the hydromet data collection and management. This is the very important part for the hydrometeorological data collection by this project and then test the collection, processing, and dissemination on the website for all the departments. So, this was the most uh, technical part of the project. And then for the water infrastructure, the infrastructure sub project, this was the most heavy investment project in this main project. This V1. This comprised of all gravity weirs, small barrages, and all these sort of rainwater, rainwater harvesting ponds, all sort of infrastructure, canals, distributes were all under this. Uh, the two uh, two hundred ten million dollar one twenty million dollars was only for this component. For for infrastructure, you need the maximum amount. Then there was special money allocated for the watershed and rangeland management because uh, this part is also a highly neglected part in our country. 
because we we build dams, but the watershed area is never looked upon, either in terms of large dams, medium dams, small dams, or even mini dams. So that was especially, and for the rangeland, the livestock component was also there. Then the on water management and agriculture productivity. This part was also specially blended with the agriculture department. The people from the agriculture department and the specialists of the agriculture sector on the different ag agronomy, on the horticulture were engaged to work on this part and the, the lining of the water courses and then to work with the community as well. All was gender empowerment because the uh, women work for the agriculture in Punjab and Sin a little bit in KP, uh, but in Rajasthan, the, uh, the women generally don't work in the agriculture sector. The work of the things when they that come into their home, but in field, they generally don't work. This was one of the problems we were facing at that area. And the third is the project management technical system for the study. Now, the first part, which was of institutional strengthening and restructuring. The amount is also written. That was basic for the government land departments to revisit the approved Bajistan. This is important to note Bajistan 2006 IWRM, Integrated Water Source Management Policy and Determining Steps to Invoke its Implementation Steps and Designing a Three Year Professional Development Program. In 2006, Integrated Water Policy was developed in Bajistan and it was approved by the government of Bajistan. But since then, since then, there was not much implementation of this policy. That was why the project and the uh, details were being uh, hampered by the all project interventions that we were facing. That because we started to explore this IWRM policy and that we should land it and that it should come again on the surface. And what was is then we started to develop another Pakistan regulated uh, water source regulation. Regulated authority. Regulatory authority. Yeah. And that was uh, one of the, it's, uh, uh, that is still an act in the draft form in the Pakistan government. I had to see that tomorrow and it was uh, full of mistakes. And then we presented it in a workshop in uh, Islamabad in the Marriott in May. 14th May 2018. So, Dr. Shahid, who uh, is retired from NARC, he was also there, was our consultant, president, uh, being the moderator over there. So, we jointly uh, worked on this workshop. But again, uh, uh, it was a sorry figure that uh, nothing came out of it because the government are always change and they have their own priorities. Was the 2006 IWRM policy integration and implementation among the relevant stakeholders through implementation of professional development program? IWRM policy is very good. If you have the chance to see that, you can see it on the website as well. It was quite well planned. So the act is slightly weak uh, of uh, many mistakes, but if you plan them, then you can come up with very good things that what should be the priority? If you take up the things immediately with the larger side, nothing will work properly. They have to take the things at the smaller side and then proceed, then it can work in Pakistan. Other provincial governments can take up, but not Pakistan. Then we are talking about the part two now of the same component A2, hydrometeorological data collection and management, installation of hydrometeorological observation network and groundwork. Monitoring network in Nari and Turali river basins. So these are the details which were to be established. Automatic weather stations, data transmission, rainfall recording stations, stream flow gauging stations, groundwater monitoring wells, data center and quota, point of install systems, and development of river basin information system are being identified. So this was the most this was the most technical part of uh, this component. It was also an amount of $121 million, which we had over there. And uh, I had the chance to go across Pakistan for to meet the different 
stations which are installed went to wapda went to dimi and the private sector as well pmd of course pcrwr went with all the person installation but uh, it was again very uh, different story that all the things were there but they were properly not well working in an integrated form because no department has a central center to collect the data and to disseminate the data the pmd has installed they have now installed many automatic weather stations uh, automatic stations but if you want the picture of the entire country or even of one province i couldn't see i met with every dg with all the chief meteorologist if you see one that i need a comprehensive of kp which is which gets most of the rainfall for punjab on the other side but you cannot see the spreading of the automatic weather station and manual stations are also intermingled because that has to be complete it at one side in totality that was also missing that's why we initiated that we will have we will install all these things in balochistan if it is successful in the two river basins and two taken by the asian development bank they are on the uh, zob and on the another uh, uh, site of balochistan ali mulla mulla river basin and zob river basin adb has taken back and world bank taken as they world bank has a double amount double funding of the river basin so then it was to be replicated in entire balochistan but the main center everything was to be established by the bank so now detail of further hydrometeorological can you see that it will come over here these are the existing hydromats in nari river basin you can see the area as well this is the existing hydromat stations installed in nari river basin that these uh, hydromat stations were installed long ago 25 years back by the department uh, by the usa funding but now they are not properly working so i could not see any proper data recorded and since 10 years there is no recording of it then here it's it's a complete picture these are the uh, proposed sites because then we with the, uh, as a pilot project we initiated to it this is mulla river basin this is zob river basin these are have been taken in detail by the adb but in world bank it was part of this as well so uh, it, it it was basically planned that initially we will sort in different sub basins then we will increase during the process course so this is the rally river basin water which uh, installation of hydromat system this is uh, one of the small pictures you can see this uh, being installed this sort of area where we are rain gauges this is the rod being installed that uh, all the rain and the speedometer anemometer all the gadgets are to be placed over there and you can see this picture again all the instrumentation gauge this is the for through the pv solar light and this was the gauge the site was selected that this is the gauge for the river gauging scheme another view of the river gauging scheme and they are all auto have automatic and these are the steps that the water flows are in the stream and they are all automatic having sensors it is normally the recording is unmanned and now the acquisition of the data processes that when you get data then uh, okay for the ground water system then we have elect electric piezometers because all the ground water will be measured by the electric piezometers they are all through sensors and the data will be recorded just having put your usb on the top have data go and insert into your computer and you can acquire the data it was basically meant to have monthly data that what is the variation of the ground water table and these are the meteorological instruments 
so you can see the uh, wind speed and direction. This is wind speed action and all the different parts. This is a pretty bucket for the rainfall. And uh, this is the solar panel. And all this is communication is being transferred to Modam. And this is a overall picture that you take uh, remote stations at your uh, all findings. The data is coming to the central system, and then it is going to the website, and all stakeholders can have it and access to the data. And the central data system is to be established at Quetta from all the places which we have seen the uh, existing and proposed sites. This is the component B, which I told that, that this is the part which has the maximum funding of the project. Nari River Basin, four irrigation sub projects, Nari College Integrated Irrigation Scheme, Jetabad Flood Irrigation Scheme, Mushka Flood Irrigation Scheme, and Sehan Flood Irrigation Scheme. These were the four irrigation schemes for the Nari River Basin. Jetta uh, Park uh, is a good. Uh, these are the schemes uh, which we will see. Some have a, a pictorial view of as well that how the uh, water comes from the Nefer Nala, what type of structure we want to build, and then how it, it will offtake from so that. In the Kuali River Basin, in Dacha Nagar irrigation scheme. The B perennial irrigation scheme, cluster of perennial irrigation scheme that was the Madan irrigation scheme. So these irrigation schemes were uh, found out as the best that they should be taken off, but the later now the government is also trying to replace few of the schemes uh, at their own will. They want to shift to the areas where the political strength is more than more to draw off. That's why the PC one of the original scheme is being uh, revised and might have a change in the next few months. Now, they were in Nari River Basin, there were five water supply projects, villages, different at different villages. We can see that these all are the water schemes at different villages. For the water supply scheme, water supply scheme, public health department was uh, has been engaged, especially for these schemes. I had the chance to see all this area, and that there are still many old schemes being uh, they were developed in the colonial period. And if we and then other old they are they were developed by us 30, 40, 50 years back. The old scheme of 100 years old is still working. And what we developed 30, 40 years back, that is collapsed. Then you can see the system, the quality, the difference between us and the Britishers. This is uh, drinking water. Drinking water. What is the drinking water? When there is a water resource, then, then it is meant for the dams, for the barrages, for the agriculture. Water supply is totally for drinking. Then these are the 11 water supply schemes in the Prali River Basin. And uh, you, uh, here just are the name that uh, it was the demand of the people. You want to irrigate our land for our crop production and other things. We also want drinking water. So it was also part of this. 16, overall 16 schemes. Then apart from this Infrastructure schemes, the, there were some other flood protection sub projects was also taken because the water coming on the Nalas have are into the flash form. They come with the speed and go away, and they have a lateral erosion along the banks of the river and destroy the land. So, along different rivers, Doralai River, Alambar River, Tuki River, all the, this type. Villages must be protected under the flood protection irrigation schemes. All the river training works were part of the schemes that different hydraulic infrastructures projects are to be built under these schemes under the name of for these villages. Similarly, for the Urali 
there were five flood protection schemes for these sort of areas there is huge agriculture huge means they are huge for them but it not be huge for us because the area is very limited which have water because small streams flowing and the people take water to irrigate when our big investment will go on that it, they have uh, more water it currently they are a water for 500 or 1000 acres but through these schemes they will irrigate for more than 10000 acres 20000 of acres now we see that actually how it, it will work it is the nari gorge integrated scheme nari gorge was built by the britishers uh, it is very near to the sibi town and you uh, can go and see that area the uh, the new part and the old part the old part is still worth worth noted still it is so good and there is a it has a perennial flow the nari river is there is almost minimum at the minimum level it gives water for 100 cubic that that flow and command area the command existing command area is 70000 acres and with some other the proof command area details are over here and additional area because the water varies with different seasons of the of the season and we can have spread irrigation as well the watershed area scrub area then the total area will go to 20000 hectares you can see from almost 7 to 23000 plus hectares will be irrigated so much of difference under this scheme now you can see the scheme actual it is taken by the google you see this is the source of the uh, main canal coming from the nadi nadi gorge where the uh, barrage has been built and there the uh, canal is being taken and the water the main canal is going over here a different color shows uh, different lines that one is the main canal then is the proposed blue is the proposed that is the extension of main canal and then the this is the river so these are the canal branches extension and then these are the water courses you can see these are the actual taken from the uh, uh, google map then we uh, digitized it and draw all the lengths calculated through actual survey and through the google map as well so this is a very uh, good uh, schematic uh, diagram to see the actual how it will work and and the idea and all the project features are over there you can see which i told earlier that these are the schemes of the canal which will be laid all the extensions of these all will be lined and the command area will ultimately be 44000 acres this existing land is 21 and proposed land is 143 km it's a huge length you can see the length is huge so this is another view it is a scheme it is also one of the very good schemes it cost more than almost 4 to 5 billion rupees of uh, the cost is there because it has now even more increased it has crossed four so that area if you go the river has a plenty of water but the speed of the water the velocity is quite high so the water come rushes into the stream and just goes off so we again planned that you can see that the from only 47 acres are being irrigated by the system and you see that it will go up to 70 thousands of acres and that will include the different areas the muskaba area the watershed area the state area so first it was designed on the right side i'll show you the diagram you see that uh, this is the river coming we proposed a gravity weir over here it's a sort of small barrage and then this is the main canal 
and there were seven distributaries coming out of the main road. 70,000 acres. Currently, there is no system exists. Now it has been planned. And recently, when I was there, I proposed another on the right side as well. Now the area has 70% increase of the existing, what we have been uh, proposed. 10,000 of acres has been traditionally added into the project. Because now the site has been slightly shifted upwards, two, three kilometers upwards. There was a uh, aqueduct right below this structure, proposed structure. Because when I visited along with the consultants, I saw that when the speed of the water would be more to destroy that aqueduct. So we have to, uh, because the aqueduct is a fixed structure that cannot be shifted. So we can we shift our project to upper side? Then we had a, a, a detailed survey walking in the streams and looking to Google Maps as well, all pictures with us, physical survey. And then we found a very good place. Uh, the consultant was quite reluctant in my opinion, because they have to work again on the same cost. But finally, it was done. Because uh, the persons who designed, they never visited the site. So these are the flaws also that uh, seeing is believing you have to be on the site. This is an also a very good flood scheme when you go by train from Sipi to Koita you cross the Bolan mountains. Then we have two engines on the bear side, one on the front side. And when you, grow, when you enter the mountain area from Sipi, you saw a very beautiful structure over there, Mashka flood irrigation structure. That's an old structure built by the Britishers and now that is not working. I was lucky enough to pick up this project because they never this is with all us, uh, with Pakistani people, we want to construct a building, never want to maintain it. Similarly, it was with this structure. Very good flood structure, but it was ultimately ruined due to operation and maintenance. So it was also taken with a very hard note. But uh, it, it is a very good the railway line. Is also, this is the railway line is crossing. Then canals were built to irrigate almost this area, command area of almost 2,000 hectares. Now it has increased up to 18,000 acres. I designed another canal for this, 10,000, 8 to 10,000, but also further added to this area across the railway line, putting some infrastructure, siphons, and to irrigate the other part of the area which goes up to the main road of the city. So that has been designed. Now it is uh, now it's in the bidding process, almost finalizing stage for, for construction. These are the schemes which are in the Prali River basins, what we were talking about. So Prali is an area near the Las Bela area. If anybody goes to this area, the Dacha Nar Agri scheme, when I went there, it was Ashita Jasai Nakhlistan. It was so beautiful, clear crystal water flowing in that area, but all the water was flowing and nobody could benefit from that. So a scheme was proposed over here. The cost you can see that is not much, 90 million. So the area was then increased from 2200 acres to 4900 of hectares. A hectare is almost 2.47 acres. You mm -hmm. will get the acres. So it, okay, after this scheme, the area is all the area are extremely poor. The people have only subsistence agriculture. So this is another view of the diagram to the Google uh, mapping that where the project lies and how this will work. This, and this is the irrigation schemes, different lengths. And the uh, discharge capacity is also there. You can see the if we are drawing 70 cusics of water, that has a sufficient discharge. And from 70 cusic, uh, you can see that uh, in Punjab, from one cusic, we irrigate 
three to four hundred acres of land. And here we will uh, irrigate almost half of it. These are all perennial canals. No, so, yeah. there are some perennial canals and some are flood irrigation canals. We are discussing what both, flood irrigation both, both. 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 It is written over there. PIS and FIS. FIS is the flood irrigation scheme and PIS for the perennial irrigation scheme. So this is uh, another view of the same. You can see this is the VN because this has been totally remodeled. One is uh, water is going to this area of the bay and, and the main river is on this side. This whole area and the barrage is to be remodeled because it is an old barrage totally slitted. So it was, uh, it has been remodeled, designed and about the work is under the building process. Same another the B irrigation schemes. You can see that there. There it, it, it is the scheme, and there it is the river and the canal coming out of it. And there are some head regulators under sluices because the guide ponds, the regulators have been choked up due to heavy siltation. So new. Uh, Works uh, the actually the crest has to be raised, and new undersources are uh, being created because apart from the silt, they are heavy boulders and heavy sedimentation stones are come also coming into it. That also has to be taken care of. That if because the old system, when there is a heavy rain, the big boulders come. They come in the front of the downstream of the weir, and the flow is blocked. So there, then there is a heading up of water. So what to do that? Special uh, units are to be have been developed. So there will be a half and kilometer unit. The area will be filled up with the, having more depression with all the heavy sedimentation, including the pebbles, boulders, and then later on it has to be cleaned as well. Well, but that is part because you you don't have any other option. another view. So you can see that this was the biggest part of the component uh, and the same is for the watershed and basin ski level that under water management schemes because where the area from where which generates the flow where the sediment comes you can see when they have steep sources they destroy the vegetation. The limited vegetation is over there then we proposed at basal level different activities that what sort of assessment studies and surveys should be done, different number of sites were selected, participatory watershed management plan. Participatory was with the local people that will give money, have nurseries, raise of uh, plants and then plantation through the beneficiaries. So that was also a part. Uh, few NGOs were also were being involved uh, for this activity. Then you can see the phosphorization activities. The forest department was active on this plantation. These are the number of plantations. 2.2 million trees were to be planted in this project. And the rehabilitation of two ecosystems, juniper and mangroves. Juniper lies in the Ziarat, which are the most probably the oldest tree in the world uh, because when Alexander came over here in Pakistan in, in their writings, it is written there were still the juniper trees in this area. And Pakistan has a very big uh, watershed area of junipers apart from the biggest is in the California. And the mangroves which are the most depleting, junipers are also depleting but the mangroves have much uh, depleted than before because the uh, you see the sea intrusion is coming and the uh, lot uh, number of nurseries were proposed at the downstream of the Kuali River basins to raise the plants <laughs> and uh, to implant through the, the Then training and exposure all these things. 
soil and cultural infrastructure were also proposed. Range land management, where the grazing is there by our livestock. Number of uh, grazing sites were specially selected that the because when the livestock is grazing in the field with the range and manage, certain ponds have to be there. Small capturing of water ponds are to be built at different sites. If we go to Mangla Dam, there uh, you must have uh, heard the name of Lady Forest, which come its board is Turkey Door Plaza near the Lady Forest. Once I was working in the small dams, we were asked by the wildlife department to build a small dam for the wildlife, for Irnokili. And then we developed that pond for them, a small dam. That's long ago, 30 years back. And these are the other, other details that, that what sort of things we were expecting, the fodder and bees, the plantation and bees, and the, all the benefits we can drive from there. And this is the one picture of the Ziarat watershed area. Multiple watersheds were taken at 22 sites in this basin, and you can see that the different colors show the different area that why these have been selected, because these are more accessible for the people, and the community was ready to own them. For the success of the project, it is very necessary because it was all through community by the department. Because if you give money to the department, they will just put it to their pocket and go away, and they don't work. Similarly, when we engage the community, then there are certain check and balances, so how they work. So these are the different interventions uh, that maybe check, uh, check them through stone check them, inside which is urban ones, protection structures for agriculture land. These were all the substructures with, which were part of this watershed management scheme. So these are the other on-farm water management and agriculture productivity. For agriculture productivity, the lining of water courses, construction of water storage tanks, construction of other water courses, uh, earthen water storage tanks, kacha tracks, spade and kushkaba farming. So these parts were all found on the on, uh, on farm water management. These were highly essential. The people demand were there. We should line our water courses and construction of water storage. In Rajasthan, they dig, pump water from the ground, put it into a tank. They make a tank of three feet height, uh, 100 feet by something 50 feet, fill it with water because the electricity rate is extremely subsidized. Currently, Pakistan is going under a deficit of 85 billion rupees for this electrical because over pumping of groundwater with depletion, water going up to almost crossed 1,000 feet in Yorali district. So this is, and now the government is thinking, a study is going by the IPRI to uh, convert these solar uh, into the solar system that will it will it be beneficial or not that uh, is study is ongoing then there is another part you see the matching grants matching grants which includes laser land leveling high efficiency rail system solar pumps and that was matching grant is that the government will give you 60 percent of the money to a farmer to the beneficiary, 40 will be contributed by 40%. And it will be ultimately yours. By the end of the project, we'll give you 40 rupees, you, uh, 60 rupees, you invest 40 rupees, we'll uh, then hand over to you after the end of the project. The part you have to show us different characteristics that what you have done in the field. So that was a, a detailed program that includes laser land leveling because the land is quite undulated. Similarly, the micro irrigation system has to be done. And it was, and all through the farmers, male and female, the woman also uh, was part of this program. The component C, the last component, you can see that it was a total by the hiring of the consultants and all environmental management plan and social mitigation plans, gender action plans. These are the three things where the World Bank ADP highly concentrate. They constitute only one part 
percent of the component of the project, but it is uh, almost uh, overcome everything. If, if the social and environmental safeguards are not protected, they won't allow to start the project. And sometimes only this one percent part hampers the project. So another just overview to see the World Bank loan 200 from the start 2.5 benefits 7.2 marker rate is 1.25 percent service charge is 0.75 payback period 25 years that you have, we have to pay back the money in 25 years and the grace period is apart from this that is almost 10 years so you can see that the markup is not high. What will now last two slides that what we will get from this project quickly project benefit because the time is running out project beneficiaries are small land holdings up to five hectares and medium holdings up to 20 hectares will be engaged in irrigated agriculture 71,000 households this much of persons including producers for male beneficiaries benefited area will be 70,000 hectares Farm households with improved irrigation protection. Provision of portable drinking water supply to 3600 households, which consists of 700 people. Reliable data collection and dissemination through hydromet services. Capacity building of government staff. Traditional household water users will receive improved on farm water management services. 14,000 hectares of farmland, 31,000 village are roads. These are also to be built. And with 18 cross drainage structures and other infrastructure that be protected from four year current flood intervals, 20,000 households to benefit from watershed and rain management, 8,000 hectares of watershed, government staff to be direct beneficiaries through capacity building and trainings. Project outcomes there, that was the benefits. Poor people, female livelihood improvement in Nari and Purali river basins. Enhanced water rounds with increased CCA, enhancing the agriculture yield productivity and improved farm to market access. Matching grounds interventions will improve on farm water facilities. 16 water specialists will ensure safe, portable drinking water for 3,600 households. Modernized hydromet system will enable the Rastan Edition Department to precise data collection, establishment of data center, and information dissemination to stakeholders. Contribution in water, shed and range and management will improve land erosion, landslides, deforestation, and environmental degradation and liberation. Institutional setting of government departments and staff through professional development program, capacity building, and trainings. 10,000 households will be benefited from flood protection works apart from them. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for this session. Now I'll open the floor for the questions. Uh, we are going to have roughly 40 minutes, and I hope we have this good time. Yes, sir. Sir, I've got a question for you. Yes, 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 sir, I've got a question for you. जाय हो जाता है। जी और इसमें मतलब कि जैसे मैंने पहले बताया कि जो इसमें जो स्कीम्स हमने डिजाइन की वो वाटर पीक से कर डिजाइन की कि कितना पानी आता है कितना जाय हो जाता है। जैसे सपोज एक नारी रिवर है जो मेन नारी रिवर बेसिन का है। The water which is previous तो सारा साल एवरेज पे चल रहा है that is hundred to six and water when comes to the flood it is more than 50 percent so there is lot of huge of difference when the water comes especially this basin jo hai ye do jagah se pani leta hai rajasthan jo 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 eastern hissa hai us pe monsoon ka effect bhi aata hai aur jo rajasthan ka jo western part hai us pe monsoon ka effect nahi hai us pe jo westerly winds hai jo sardiyon ki barish hai uska effect aata hai और ये सारा कैशमेंट लाइज विदेन पाकिस्तान का। All within Pakistan and within Rajasthan. Not coming from Afghanistan. There are some creeks. नहीं वो हैं कुछ पाकिस्तान से भी आती हैं इसकी। मुल्ला रिवर आगे। जी नहीं मुल्ला नहीं मुल्ला तो नीचे है जो नाड़ी की जो ऊपर वाली क्रीक्स हैं ना छोटी हैं। They are quite small. They come from Rajasthan. 
मगर मेन जो है ना वो दैट इज ऑल विद इन पाकिस्तान तो मजीद में कुछ है जी अच्छा तो इसमें एक और चीज आपने कही के इसमें 30 स्ट्रीम गेटिंग जो स्टेशंस हैं वो आप प्लान प्लान है प्लान ठीक है तो ये ऑटोमेटिक होंगे या मैनुअल ये ऑटोमेटिक क्योंकि आप क्योंकि आपने अभी कहा कि सेंसर्स है ना तो क्योंकि ये मेरे भी थोड़ा सा सब्जेक्ट है इसमें काम कर रहे हैं प्रॉब्लम ये है कि जो जितने भी रिवर्स हैं हमारे खास कर जो ये बलूचिस्तान के वो अपने कोर्सेस चेंज करते रहते हैं मतलब आपने खुद भी देखा होगा कि जितने भी नालाज हैं वो कभी मतलब एक किलोमीटर तक भी वो टूटने होते हैं ठीक है और कभी कभार उसमें पानी कभी इधर जाता है कभी इस साइड पर आ जाता है तो अपना रिवर कोर्स वो चेंज करते रहते हैं तो हम वो अपने वाले क्या करते हैं कि हम फिर चूंकि हमारा सिस्टम मैनुअल है मोस्टली तो हम थ्रू करंट मीटर्स डिस्चार्ज लेते रहते हैं तो हम अकॉर्डिंगली हम भी साथ साथ में मूवमेंट करते हैं अगर सेंसर्स की बात की जाए तो वो एक खास जगह को हिट करते हैं तो जो तो सेंसर्स हैं आजकल उनकी इतनी कैपेसिटी नहीं होती को पूरे विथ को वो कर सके तो उसके लिए इस तरह की चीजें हैं एग्जैक्टली ये वी सॉ दिस प्रॉब्लम ओवर है और उसी आपने कहा कि बेशुमार बल्कि सारे रिवर्स की जो छोटे रिवर्स हैं उनमें ही प्रॉब्लम है बड़े रिवर्स हैं ना उनकी जो नॉर्मल आपको पता है देयर इज अ टर्म नोन इन द रिवर नोन एज द थैल्विक लाइन रिवर ऑफ द रिवर उसको हम थैल्विक लाइन जो रिवर है ना वो अपना उस कोर्स को वो फॉलो करता है तो यू हैव टू डिटेक्ट व्हिच इज द थैल्विक लाइन ऑफ द रिवर उस लाइन पे जो बे उस ब्रिज के नीचे हम उसको ना एक स्ट्रक्चर पे काउंट करेंगे अपना जो ये गेजिंग सेशन लगाएंगे ऑटोमेटिकली स्पेशली प्रीनियल के लिए होगा ये सर बाकी तो नॉर्मल नॉन प्रीनियल है तो वो तो गेजिंग से होगा दूसरी जो आपकी मैनुअल गेज लगी हुई है वर्टिकल है या इंक्लाइंड है वो तो आपकी और उसकी रीडिंग भी मैनुअल ही होगी मगर जो पेरियल लेवर है ना उसके हमने देखा है कि जो उसका जो पैटर्न है ना सेट है एक सर्टन कोर्स के ऊपर विच हैज बीन डेवेलप ओवर लॉन्ग और वो लेवर अगर लो फ्लोज में चला जाता है ना उसी क्रीक को फॉलो करता है तो जो साइड जो उस क्रीक को पानी फॉलो कर रही है वहां पर डेप्थ है और फ्लो चल रहा है वहां तो वो ऑटोमेटिक सेंसर लगेंगे अगर अदरवाइज ना वो जो उनकी जो मल्टीपल क्रीक्स हैं उस पर वो गेजेस लगी हुई हैं और वो क्रीक्स जो मुसलसल चलती हैं तो सारा उसका सम अप होगा अगर पांच फेज है छह फेज है दस फेज है उन पर गेजेस लगी हुई हैं और उन पर वो जो उनका रीडर है वो भी अवेलेबल है वो जाएगा वो मैयर करेगा एट सर्टन पॉइंट वेयर वी कैन मैयर हाँ ऐसे हर जगह पे नहीं होगा वो सर्टन पॉइंट पे ही उसको वो रीड करेगा डेटा कलेक्ट करें तो ये एक बड़ी कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव साइट सर्वे है कि आपने जैसे वाटर का करना है या सरफेस वाटर का करना है सरफेस वाटर इज द मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट टू मेयर बहुत ही मुश्किल काम है ये और इसमें एक्यूरेसी के जो जो प्रिसीजन है वो भी इतनी अच्छी नहीं आती मगर यू नीड टू हैव गुड इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन जहां तो पानी ज्यादा है देयर यू हैव वेरी गुड इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन वहां तो अनमैन बोट भी चली जाती है और कर लेती है वो वेडिंग से भी हम करते हैं जी वो भी है अगर थ्री फीट तक वो पानी होगा उसमें वो वेडिंग से भी हो सकती है प्रोवाइडेड यू हैव रियली गुड इक्विपमेंट और कैलिब्रेटर भी हो वो तो मस्त है जरूरी है तो सर एक और चीज वाटर शेड के लिहाज से कि आपने जिस तरह कहा जिस तरह इफ यू रिमेंबर हमने तीन दरियाओं को जिसमें शोभ है एक तरह है और एक गोमल उनको मिला के हमने गोमल से छोटा सा एक रिजर्वायर हमने बनाया बॉल्ट वालों ने सिर्फ सेवनटीन उसमें मेगावाट तो आप इस पूरे प्रोजेक्ट में जिस तरह आपने कहा कि काफी बड़े उस दरिया है कुछ है इसमें चेक डैम्स हैं इसमें और वाटर पॉन्ट्स भी हैं और मगर वाटर टैंक्स भी हमने है मगर देर इज नो पार्ट ऑफ हाइड्रो इन दिस इट इज बेसिकली इंटेग्रेटेड वाटर सोर्स डेवेलपमेंट इट इज बेसिकली वॉज नॉट मैं टू स्टोर वाटर 
observer nicely to capture water, raise the head of water, divert the water through canals, through water courses, irrigate the land, and capture water for the water supply system directly from the river or from the ground, which is being recharged also. This is the way that agriculture productivity is enhanced. The water supply systems are also a good thing. We can also do it. Run of river dam. No, no, no. Even, tunneling. that is something at a very special and uh, uh, particular location. Magar Blojistan Jana was a head was made account. Head county men, power men, pani se jada head count of them. That is not part of this scheme. Bajistan is trying to hydro power scheme and now they are not successful. You can pani the other. And the pani bohota, ye consider what a pani mena or na hai. You get thoda pani head available on a perennial low. You can generate a lot of energy. Other jumper pani, a pani or non perennial hai. There's in on a project here, a thesis me, jo up simile dams pani are after jo water conduction lines hai. So you can generate 2 megawatt of energy. The water is coming to drink, but you can capture water and utilize and generate 2 megawatt of electricity. But here the water is limited. You can see canals are limited. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 Q6 of canals. And it is like the perennial, which I have shown in the picture of Google, एक सत्तर हजार अगर एकड़ का जो नारी पे लगा हुआ है इतना यूज है डेढ़ सौ किलोमीटर की हम कैनाल्स बनाने जा रहे हैं और डेट वाटर कैन नॉट रीच एट द एंड यू हैव टू लाइन इट यहाँ तो वो कॉन्सेप्ट ही नहीं है अपने केबल में यहाँ तो उधर पीने का पानी नहीं है तो एवरी ड्रॉप एवरी एवरी ड्रॉप पर क्रॉ Water resources को coupled with the agriculture. बाकी जो सारे उसमें related components थे, क्योंकि कल आपने future planning करनी है बुजुर्गस्तान की, बुजुर्गस्तान water management regulatory authority जो बनने का हमने किया भी था consultancy वो एक उसमें यही था कि different stakeholders पे बात करें कि act है तो I said that it's a very poor act क्योंकि आपने 2006 के IWM policy को इंप्लीमेंट स्लाम खान सब सेक्टरी होते थे उन्होंने इसको बनाया था अप्रूव करवाया था मगर ये है कि देर हैज़ टू बी कंसेंसस अमंग द स्टेकहोल्डर्स जैसे ये लफ्ज़ मैंने क्यों बोला नाड़ी पे पानी 90 से 100 क्यों सिक चलता है हमने कहा इसी से हमने पुराने सिस्टम से सिबी शहर वालों ने कहा कि मैं पानी � दो क्यूसे के ऊपर 2000 बंदा बैठा हो गया। इन 100 में से 200 क्यूस दो क्यूसे पानी भी नहीं दे। कहते पानी के बगैर कहते हैं दो क्यूसे पे हम 400 एकड़ अपना इरिगेट करते हैं एरिया। तो आप कहते हैं आपको पानी चाहिए पीने के लिए अपने पंप्स लगाएं। ये हमारा एलोकेटेड वाटर है। वाटर को तो पता है � जो मुझे चांस मिला लॉर्ड प्राची इस्लाम बाद जाने का जाके मैं सारे इवन प्रोवेंडर्स थे मैं उनसे भी मिला सबसे ज्यादा स्ट्रेंथ मुझे लॉर्ड में नजर आई जो प्रोफेशनल थी नंबर टू पे इस्लाम बाद नजर आई कराची तो सारे ट्रेडर्स थे वो सिर्फ बेचने की बात करते थे मगर विद इंजीनियरिंग सॉल्यूशन जो है हम सारे ये रिवर बेसिन्स की बात कर रहे हैं इसी पे ये सीरीज चल रही है वाटर प्लानिंग इज वेरी नेसेसरी आज जो हम डिडक्ट कर रहे हैं जमीन से पंपिंग किए जा रहे हैं लोजिस्तान में लोरा लाई में 
हमने एक वेल लगाया पानी 1100 फुट पे था और 1100 फुट पे वो क्या पैदा कर रहे हैं गोभियां इतने बड़े पत्ते मैंने हाथ अपना किया तो मेरे पूरे हाथों में पत्ते आ गए मतलब दिस इज हाउ वी आर डिस्ट्रॉइंग द प्रेशर रिसोर्स तो हमने फिर उसके लिए ना क्रॉप डाइवर्सिफिकेशन अप्लाई की कि आप आपको अभी गोभी नहीं उगाएंगे हम आप क्योंकि लोग कहते हैं कि आप गोभी नहीं उगाएंगे तो पैसे कहां से आएंगे घर कैसे चलेगा तो देन यू हैव टू प्रोड्यूस सम अदर क्रॉप व्हिच गिव्स यू गुड मनी फॉर योर लाइवलीहुड्स हमने हम आपको आलू अगर पैदा हो सकता है तो आलू इस देते हैं अगर हॉर्टिकल्चर हो सकता है तो हमको हॉर्टिकल्चर आपको प्रोवाइड उसकी पूरी फंडिंग करेंगे इंप्लीमेंट्स देंगे तो मैचिंग ग्रांट्स में लिखी गई कि 60% हम इन्वेस्ट कर देंगे ट्रेनिंग देंगे पूरी आप उस पे लोगों ने ग्री किया जी मैं हमारे घर के 20000 रुपए में आमदन होती है ऐसे हमें वो सोशल दे अगर 20000 पूरा होता है तो हम आपके साथ है नहीं होता तो हम आपके साथ देन यू हैव टू तो ठीक है एक जो लोग चाहे वो रिसोर्स को तबाह कर रहे हैं अगर बिजली उन्हें तरह की मुफ्त मिल रही है 4000 रुपए महीना की पानी वो है कि तो वारे कह रहे हैं पानी के गलत हो रहा है डिप्लीट हो रहा है रिसोर्स बट यू हैव टू गिव देम द सॉल्यूशन एज़ वेल जी ऑटोमेटिक वेदर स्टेशन भी लगाने हैं स्टेशन के अराउंड जो ग्राउंड वाटर डेटा है ना मॉनिटरिंग है वो भी होगी क्योंकि जैसे हम पानी की रिचार्ज की बात कर रहे हैं रिचार्ज के लिए हमने मल्टीपल वाटर शेड्स में वो गली फॉर्मेशन करनी है डिचेस बनानी है चेक डैम्स बनाने हैं डिले एक्शन डैम डिटेंशन डैम ये सारे सॉर्ट ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर बनाने ताकि पानी रुके जो फ्लशिंग कर रहा है वो रुके और रिचार्ज हो फिर मंथली बेसिस पे हम उसको मॉनिटर करेंगे कि पानी अगर एक्सट्रैक्ट हो रहा है तो रिचार्ज भी हो रहा है कि नहीं हो रहा है फिर जब वो डेटा फॉर्मेशन होती है और उसी जगह के करीब अगर नाले होंगे ना तो उसमें बंदा ही डिस्ट्रीब्यूट होगा वो डिप्यूट होगा जो जाएगा सारी रीडिंग्स लेके आएगा जैसा है ना कि उसमें इलेक्ट्रिक पीजोमीटर से तार के जरिए ना केबल जाती है ऊपर आ जाएगी तो वो ऊपर से एक पोर्ट बनेगी जस्ट पुट योर यूएसबी और डेटा आ जाएगा सेंसर के जरिए तो आपके इसमें वाटर यूज वाटर बैलेंस एस्टीमेट होगा बिल्कुल होगा वो सारा कुछ कोयटा में होगा उधर तो जो भी होगा ना डेटा आपका इकट्ठा होगा वो हमने बात की वतीन वालों से यूफून वालों से टेलीनोर वालों से मैं इनके भी ऑफिसेस गया कि आप हमें किस रेट पे देंगे या फिर है कि आप अपने ना जो रीडर है उसको कहें आप एक छोटा सा ऐप बना के दे दें कि ये चीजें इसमें डाल दो कि ये रीडिंग आई है और जस्ट एसएमएस कर ले पता ये चला कि वो ही सस्ता है एसएमएस ही सस्ता है वो तीन वाले कराची में गया तो दे वर टू एक्सपेंसिव और फिर जो बाकी टेलिन और यूफ उनके पास गया तो वो भी महंगे थे तो हमारी कॉस्ट आती थी वो एक बोले जी आपका सात हजार रुपये महीना ले लेंगे एक पर का डेटा देने में एक जो वतीन वाले थे दे मोस्ट एक्सपेंसिव उनको ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड प्लस बोला तो मैंने कहा अगर हम ऐप बना लें और डेटा जो हमारा रीडर है वो एसएमएस एम एस करते हम तो रियलिस डेटा यूज करते हैं हैं मोस्टली तो यही होता है कि आप वो जो वैल्यू होगी ना जो रियल टाइम वैल्यू होगी वो जो कंट्रोल बॉक्स लगा ना वो आपको वो लिंक होता है कंप्यूटर से उसी गेज इंडर हार्ट में वो सारा डेटा उधर रिकॉर्ड हो जाएगा बंदा है या नहीं है रिकॉर्ड सारा ऑटोमेटिक हो जाएगा सिर्फ मसला हमें आया ना वो डेटा लेने का जो डेटा का मसला है ना वो सिर्फ सरफेस का है सरफेस वॉटर डेटा इज अ रियल बिंग प्रॉब्लम तो इसलिए ना बस मगर वो भी हमने फिर जैसे भी बात हो रही थी शायद साहब के साथ कि हमने कहा कि जहाँ पर फ्लो जो सारा साल चलती है उनको और तरह मेल करेंगे जहाँ पार्सल फ्लो चलता है या नॉन प्रीनियल चलता है वो मैनुअल बेस्ड होगा दैट इज अ डिफिकल्ट थिंग मगर हमने वो भी सारा प्लान आउट कर लिया था जितना एक्यूरेट होगा तो एक बिल्कुल वो तो सॉफ्टवेयर हो गया उसपे जो हमने 
फिर जो उसके सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलप करने वो जो डेटा सेंटर है ना वो कोयटा में है सारा डेटा रिवर बेसन के हर स्टेशन से आएगा और वहां पर सारी उसकी डेटा कलेक्शन होगी एवेल्यूएशन होगी स्क्रीनिंग होगी उसके बाद जो डेटा करके वो फिर एक मॉडलिंग फिर वो एक डिफरेंट प्रोसेस है कि आप लेना क्या चाहते हैं तो फिर वो डेटा डिसिमिनेट हो थैंक यू डॉक्टर साहब फॉर अ डिटेल्ड वेरी डिटेल्ड प्रेजेंटेशन द मेन इश्यूज इन बलोचिस्तान इज वॉटर चिकन इट इज डिप्लीटिंग डे बाई डे एंड आई हैव सीन वेन माई सेल्फ एंड शाहिद वॉज वर्किंग लॉन्ग टाइम ब्लैक एंड सेवनटी सेवन सेवनटी सिक्स वाटर टेबल वॉज अराउंड थ्री हंड्रेड फीट नाउ इट इज मोर देन वन थाउजेंड वी आर ब्रिंगिंग अ बिग प्रोजेक्ट on the conservation of water resources in balochistan we know your project we know patient bank project also and eu is also bringing a project european union money is grant loan your money is grant your is loan our is grant our is free yes money is from the tax payer and we are initiating a project of 40 million euro at first stage and the second phase will go another 40 crore will go another 40 around 100 million we have in plan what we are doing we are actually going to the high uh, cultivation cultivated areas where horticulture crops are on peak we want to bring this apple or other high consumption horticulture crops to livestock farming the idea is to conserve the water through check dam through other infrastructures small infrastructures through community organization conserve the water and then improve the livestock services we have done a lot of projects in rajasthan on livestock but again we are coming back after 30 years when we have seen water table is going down the main problem of rajasthan is the wrong policies of the Province, province is charging five six five six thousand rupees, and people are running the two well day and night, and it in practice is still going on. Then Chairman Wabda involved, and then he cut down the high voltage lines. They have reduced the current that people will not go for the two wells. Then immediately the technology came. People have start fixing the solar. Water table is continuously depleting. at some stages it is difficult for medium or small farmers and the same farmers are harvesting the apple trees and using as a food food with your project no doubt project concept is excellent you are not building a dam dams are failed totally failed small dams medium type dams are failed because with first or second run of lot of silt is coming and it is just like a cement infiltration is almost zero everything is evaporated evaporation transpiration rate is very high in rajasthan in the dams 4 to 5 meter per year only evaporation <coughs> you can't use the issue is that evapor transpiration one thing second thing is the baloch and pathan districts this is very sensitive i don't know how many districts districts are falling in nadi uh, baloch or pathan what but how we have uh, financed the project in the past we always select 50% area blue 50% area pathan and then it is a balance then things are working otherwise it is very difficult uh, to work in process and people are kidnapping them a lot of problem ransom you have to pay some percentage to the line agencies very openly and then they move otherwise it is very difficult up till now those army is there but up till now it is highly highly corrupt system if we will see first is balochistan second is sindh third is kp port punjab i worked in africa for a long time with a few there people ask in in africa minister ask give me my percentage if you want the project here they are not asking the percentage here they interest fix the people project manager this to the other people then their uh, command area um, then uh, um, the tribes like this 
they manu they always manipulate the things that, that is very common so uh, the main issue is that evaporation transpiration is very high no doubt then rainfall pattern is changing which is coming because first we have lot of snow now all snow is converting into high rain <coughs> floods are coming then when pattern is changing then the system what you have in mind uh, will work or not water table is going down because snow has reduced if there was heavy snow in some of the areas then the seepage was slowly slowly and it will store the water table you have not taken into consideration the garbage system also which is very common in some of the areas and if we may have some uh, storage of water conservation of water then maybe garbages will start coming up so overall anyhow we will keep in contact i visited uh, two weeks back we have met the government authority uh, including chief minister only for giving the idea our project is in final stages uh, for signing of financing agreement and then on the water uh, this committee uh, as you have mentioned uh, we requested the government that secretaries are not very effective chief minister must be chair the meeting of uh, main water uh, setup and public health engineering agriculture livestock and uh, forestry are the main players for this type of project to hope for the best thank you very much yeah. you have briefed it very well yeah, because yeah. you have been personally in that yeah, area yeah, yeah. very right the electricity i will just uh, reiterate yeah. few things that the area what we have selected the prali which was the lower basin area they are mostly of the baloch people and the nari which is in the north the it's a very 70000 square meter the upper area is totally of pakhtuns and the lower belt is mostly of baravi people baravi right. so it has a blend of all ravi pakhtun right. and baloch people one point uh, was this and regarding the uh, depletion and the of water and the slow recharging in the area of rajasthan exactly 100% true that that is the most biggest issue regarding uh, i come to later the government which is there the more powerful people uh, but i have seen i have been there rajasthan for the last 36 uh, 37 years what i have seen the most powerful men in them are the ministers even the cm is not that powerful the ministers are powerful whatever they want that happens so this was was uh, through learning while working with them so how they manipulate the things and how the bribe comes for them and all big things and they don't allow the outsiders to work for them because they want to work at their own many agencies come in one way or the other so uh, i have been working with the us aid the usda as well for the adb many times for the adb many times for the world bank but problem every time there is a problem the, and with the ngos also with the government also because what i have seen no person of pakistan is sincere to their land they are only sincere to one thing and that is cash money and the corruption is every there but i think they are number one number two is sir <laughs> ji ye mera taluk ko it has said matlab main wahan paida hui hu mere nana wahan doctor the wo tum tula ja ko mein jinki baat abhi kar rahe hai ki usse bhi pehle bahut zyada wahan usse kuch bhi nahi tha wo eye cap lagate the to wo log khate nahi hai wo log kuch bhi nahi karte ab unhe ghar jayenge unke tank kholenge uske andar paisa hi paisa hai ये आज से भी चालीस साल पुरानी बात है आप उनको खुद उन्होंने मेरे मतलब नाना को दिखाया उन्होंने भी करके खोला धूप में उनके मतलब जिनमें हम कपड़े रखते रजाइया रखते हैं उनमें वो पूरे का पूरा पैसों से भरा होता है बात बड़ी सही की है मुझे किसने पूछा कि आप पता कि पाकिस्तान में सबसे ज्यादा पैसा किसके पास है लोग फॉरन चार पांच लोगों का नाम ले रहे हैं मैंने कहा जी द पीपल एट चमन 
कहते चमन के लोग अमीर है जैसे हिना ने बात की वहां चमन में ना जिस जो ये जरा खाता पीता है वो खाता पीता करोड़ों पति नहीं है वो अरबों पति है पाकिस्तान लोगों की हालत साइकिल में एक बंदा आया तो उससे मतलब उनके बीवी बच्चे वहाँ गए वही होंगे सारे वही सब कुछ सारा इकट्ठा है अगर आप उनके घर जाके देखे उनके मीने वहां से फाड़े जो भी करे साइकिल पे बंदा आया गरीब वो हमसे एड लेने आया कि मुझे शामिल कर लें तो उससे पूछा कि 40 परसेंट दे दोगे हम तो 60 परसेंट दे देंगे कहते हैं जितने बोले दे देंगे कितना दे दोगे ये तो ट्रैक्टर लेने आठ लाख का दस लाख का कैन यू गिव टू लाख रुपीज दो लाख डॉलर का दो भी दे दूंगा डॉलर तो दी जाते जी जी हाँ सॉरी सर कुछ चीजें तो कवर हो गई है लेकिन इसमें दोनों बेसन का सोर्स क्या है इट इज डिले हो गया सोर्स क्या है सोर्स सारा इसका रेन वाटर है बारिश का पानी है एंड सम स्नो स्नो और अगर ये बारिश का पानी और अगर ये बर्फ का पानी मिला दें तो क्या लफ्ज बनता है ये बारिश का पानी आ रहा है ये बर्फ का पानी आ रहा है दोनों मिलके तो मेरे पास स्टीम बन गया नहीं वो तो स्टीम वो तो नाला हो गया ना वो तो ठीक है टेक्निकली हाइड्रोलॉजिकली क्या टर्म होगा उसका ये भी बड़ा इंटरेस्टिंग है पानी जो ना हमको मिलता है ना जब हम सुबह पानी मेयर करते हैं उसमें ड्यू भी आ जाती है जैसे हम क्या बोलते हैं उर्दू में शबनम बोलते हैं वो भी आ जाती है अच्छा मिस्ट भी होती है फ्लेक्स भी होते हैं सारा कुछ मिला होता है दिस इज ऑल प्रेसिपिटेशन सब प्रेसिपिटेशन कहते हैं जब हम मैयर करते हैं ना तो हम जो लफ्ज बोलते हैं वो प्रेसिपिटेशन कहते हैं कि जब हम ना बारिश को लहदा मेयर करेंगे स्नो को लहदा मेयर करेंगे जब लिखेंगे तो तो ये हमारा जो हमने जो लिखा है ना आपको मैंने वो टिपिंग बकेट दिखाई वो बारिश को मेयर करेंगे उधर पानी पड़ा उधर साथ ही वो मैया हो गया कंट्रोल बॉक्स में उसका सारा डेटा आ जाएगा इतने टाइम पे फ्रीक्वेंसी क्या होगी आप आगे आ जाए फ्रीक्वेंसी क्या होगी और उसकी इंटेंसिटी क्या होगी मेजर साहब आपने भी सवाल करना है तो आप आए बहुत लेट हैं तो ये ये तो इश्यूज है ना देखे ना रात को बारिश होगी आपका बंदा तो मौजूद नहीं है तो दीज ऑटोमेटिक वेदर स्टेशन बिल्कुल हेल्प टू Mayor, the quantity of water, frequency और intensity. कहते होता है कि बारिश थोड़ी देर के लिए तेज होती है उसकी intensity आई है एक है कि वो होती बार बार है बार बार है मगर होती है हल्की है जैसे इंग्लैंड में हर वक्त बारिश हो रही है इंग्लैंड में तो ग्रीन ही ग्रीन है आप देखेंगे सर सब सलाह है इंडोनेशिया मलेशिया है कहते हैं ना सन रेन फॉलो द रेन सूरज बारिश के पीछे है उधर सूरज निकला उधर बारिश होगी सूरज निकला बारिश शुरू होगी जो इक्वेटर के पास इलाके होते हैं वहां बारिश ऐसे होती है अगर हफ्ता ना बारिश हो कहते हैं ड्राउट सीजन आ गया दूसरा दूसरा क्वेश्चन है जो वाटर बेसन है दोनों बेसन से आप पानी डाइवर्ट कर रहे हैं तो जो नेचुरल फ्लो हो रहा था उसके ऊपर क्या इफेक्ट होता है स्टडी इंक्लूड किया जी बिल्कुल वो ये होता है कि उसकी हम मॉडलिंग करते हैं सिमुलेशन मॉडल करते हैं कि पानी है ना जैसे दो हम हमने स्कीमें ली ना डाइवर्ट हो गया हाँ एक पी आई एस प्रीमियल जो लगातार चल रहा है और एक फ्लड बड़ा जोर का पानी आया हमने पानी उसका डाइवर्ट कर लिया ठीक है ना अब ये है कि जो ने पानी डाइवर्ट किया उधर जाके भी उसने इरिगेट किया और क्रॉप्स को ग्रो किया और पानी जमीन में रिचार्ज भी किया और अभी जो डाउन हमने कितना लिया सत्तर क्यों से पानी लिया सौ क्यों से पानी लिया तो वो जो बैराज है वो तो आगे निकाल रहा है 40 से पचास हजार से 100-200 निकाल लिया तो दैट मैटर्स दैट हार्डली मैटर्स मगर आपके 20-20 हजार एकड़ एरिया के लिए पानी कम भी आएगा तो उस 100-200 कनाल से 10 से 20-20 हजार एरिया के लिए जो बिल्कुल लोगों की एग्रीकल्चर ही नहीं हो रही आज एग्रीकल्चर शुरू हो जाए 
सर मेरा वैसे एक सवाल सवाल लटका हुआ था कि इधर छत के इधर सर जेन काफी देर से मैं सोच रहा था शायद कोई जवाब मिल जाए पर अल नहीं मिला वो ये था सर कि बलूचिस्तान में जो डिपार्टमेंट इसको लीड करेगा वो तो होगा एजुकेशन बाकी चार डिपार्टमेंट्स भी काम पांच डिपार्टमेंट और पांच छह छह तो उसके बाद उनके पास एग्जिस्टिंग कैपेबिलिटी क्या है इस प्रोजेक्ट को चलाने की एन जब ये मुकम्मल हो जाएगा उसके बाद वो कोई नए एम्प्लॉज हायर करेंगे कितने एम्प्लॉज हायर करेंगे क्योंकि ये ऑलमोस्ट सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट मिनिमम जो है ना उससे ज्यादा का इम्प्रूवमेंट आ रही है उस एरिए में उनको नए एसेट्स मिल रहे हैं उसको फिर उन्होंने ऑपरेशन और मेनटेन भी रखी तो उसके लिए जो वो नए एम्प्लॉज हायर करेंगे उसकी कोई प्रपोजल इस प्रोजेक्ट में अच्छा वो ऐसा है की ना बिल्कुल सही है जो हमारा पहला कॉम्पोनेंट ए पहला सब कॉन्ट कॉम्पोनेंट ए वन दैट कॉन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ दिस पार्ट विदेंट कैपेसिटी बिल्डिंग इंस्टीट्यूशनल स्ट्रेंथनिंग एंड ट्रेनिंग वो इसी पे ही है पूरा हमने उसके ना प्लान आउट किया हुआ है कि ना कितनी ट्रेनिंग होंगी कितने एक्सपोजर विजिट होंगे क्योंकि जब तक जाके किसी को दिखाते नहीं है ना जो बैराज जिन्होंने पंजाब में देखे हुए हैं ह्यूज बराजेस जब बलोचिस्तान में जाते हैं तो वो चीज ही और हो जाती है जब उनको लेके आते हैं तो इट इज टोटली डिफरेंट यू है तो वो कॉन्सेप्ट डिफरेंट होता है कम्युनिटी कैसे वर्क करती है एनजीओ के साथ मीटिंग कैसे होती है वो ये सारी चीजें जब जाके दिखाई जाती है ना फिर उनको समझाई जाती है वो एक पूरे सेक्टर है हमने जिनको हायर किया ना वो साथ ही वो मिनिस्टर बन गए केयर टेकर गवर्नमेंट में हमारा प्रोग्राम ही रुके <laughs> तो अच्छा मगर ऐसी चीजें आ जाती है मगर हमने प्लान बहुत अच्छा किया हुआ है अब वो स्टार्ट हो गई है गवर्नमेंट के तो छह के छह डिपार्टमेंट के लोग ट्रेन होंगे और यंगस्टर्स को लिया जाएगा ज्यादा सीनियर को नहीं लिया जाएगा एक्सियन लेवल से ऊपर नहीं लिया जाएगा ज्यादा सब इंजीनियर एस इनको ट्रेनिंग होगी या नीचे ट्रेनिंग होगी ऊपर ट्रेनिंग क्योंकि वो लोग जो एक्सीन बने हैं वो पचास साल के हैं तो और या पचपन साल के अब उन्होंने क्या इम्पार्ट करना है इनको ट्रेनिंग हम देंगे जो आगे कल काम कर सकेंगे ऐसे सर इसमें मेन चीज जो टॉपिक हेडिंग में देख रहा हूँ मैनेजिंग शेयर बेसेंस का इसमें सबसे पहली चीज उनकी मतलब अवेयरनेस है ना अभी हम शहरों में भी अगर हम देखें लेकिन हमें जिस तरह एक कंसेप्ट है सर वाटर कैचमेंट एरियाज अगर हम इवन नेचर का पानी जो हमें बारिश की सूरत में मिलता है या इवन जो घर का पानी हम यूज करते हैं सर और वो वेस्ट होता है अगर हम एक कैचमेंट एरियाज इवन घर के लेवल पे भी या एक कम्युनिटी के लेवल पे भी बनाते हैं सर और फिर उसको हम रिसाइकल या री यूटिलाईज करते हैं सर ठीक है सर तो वो भी एक सोर्स होता है अब ये कंसेप्ट शहरों में भी लोगों को नहीं है तो वो तो फिर बड़े ऐसे की बात कि वहां पे इवन साफ पानी भी आपका जाया होता है और भाई सर आपने बताया ना सर कि हम दो क्यूसिक पानी लेने के लिए भी जो है ना सर दो हजार लोग खड़े होते हैं और लड़ते हैं उसमें मेरे ख्याल में सबसे बड़ी चीज जो ये प्रोजेक्ट आपने की है सर माशा उस एरिया के लिहाज से तो बेहतरीन है सर इट विल टेक टाइम जब ये चीज होगी लेकिन ये कि जो अवेयरनेस वो एक है ना सर कि हर बंदे को एक पता हो एक आइडिया हो कि इसमें अगर आज मैं ये इन्वेस्टमेंट करूंगा पैसा के उधर कोई वो नहीं है सर वो आपने जिस तरह बताया सर इन्वेस्टमेंट उनकी तरफ से या गवर्नमेंट की तरफ से जो शेयर होगा वो होगा सिर्फ उनकी एक अवेयरनेस या उनकी वो जो एक वेल है कि वो चीज उसकी तरफ हो तो वो ऑटोमेटिकली फिर वो चीज उसमें पूरे साल में तो इसलिए तो दैट इज ऑलमोस्ट ऑप्शनिटेड इवन ज्यादा क्योंकि स्नोफॉल होती है बारिश नहीं होती तो रह गया उधर जो भी आपका कैप्चर होगा ना रेन वाटर हार्वेस्टिंग वो सारा सरफेस पे होगा exactly. जो रेन वाटर आप पॉन्ट बनाएंगे sure. जो वाटर टैंक्स बनाएंगे sure. वो सारा उधर यूटिलाईज होगा या अल्टीमेटली इट गोज इन टू नाला वहां से आप उसको रेज करके कैनाल लगा 
दैट इज दी बेस्ट सोल्यूशन फिर वॉटर शेड का ये जो कॉन्सेप्ट लिया पानी उधर से आ रहा है रेत मिट्टी सेडिमेंट जिसको हम बोलते हैं वो सेडिमेंट ट्रांसपोर्ट होती है पूरा सब्जेक्ट है सेडिमेंट ट्रांसपोर्ट टेक्नोलॉजी वाटर रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट में वो दैट इज द मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट सब्जेक्ट कि आप उसको कैसे चेक करते हैं एट डिफरेंट स्टेजेस उसको आप रोकें तो दैट वाज आल्सो पार्ट एंड अ बिग कंपोनेंट रेंज लैंड है उसमें फिर लाइफ स्टॉक की ग्रेजिंग होनी है हर फील्ड का स्पेशलिस्ट उधर एंगेज है ताकि हर बंदा अपना काम करे पहले एक ही हिसाब रह गए अगर उनको भी लाओ करते हैं ताकि फिर Thank you very much. All gravitated to the Indian Ocean. Five years ago, I was a call to Australia. Nothing.